DSS na Abuja. Ani meke ni chukwa kabia mananduya. Ani meke ni chukwa kabia manawike konye liya. Ani meke ni chukwa kabia manisi nde nine na bambo makamuro mwari. Okata si nisi nde DOS. Nke mazi chike doze mbu nisi ha. Mazi chike doze ya mika di keche ma keche ada wwa wacho kore me wawo da chie kwenye ya. Oku ne cheke nozo haise mwa patari ya ya. Anyo wabona fune ene ganyo joya kwa hapo. Ako wabona nato da kwa joga pong. Ukwa wana gali jojo gada mgoro chukwa kabia man ma yoni singi buma zichike dozi ya mnande diyo es nine Ndiya na mwapa makamuwe rongo ya asi mnono gadi kechi Chukwa kabia mwono buwana kanyo mike bute mwono buwana kapu mwono bute mwono Iwa mwono dine no ya dana na dena na ya polu no me Chukwa kabia man ma yogi ogono gondo na lisi ike Nisi nde biafra nine koordineto nine Bwa buruburu ebe lebo wa soto Oga dino nine na mwa Umuwe ya iloke ndo diga nuta juu mukae iloke nuna diga nuta mwa ndani alubwa huna galu nde cholo bana ge guba ndani ndo diga na chopro kafu nuga muaji ma umwa bima zo soji ma zo soji ma zo soji adi meji jifre ma zo pale zetu kubike the mouthpiece of the oracle of Biafra I have come to speak again I have come to speak to humanity I have come to speak to my brothers and my sisters those of you that have been expecting me to come out and talk about the happenings, the shenanigans that Iberima and Dr. Joe Ayaba have been doing is already in the open space. So, so many of you have seen it, but today I have come to dissect it. And I would like you to pay proper attention. Those of you that have been, that have been covered with emotion should listen and listen attentively. Touch your share button and touch the like button. Touch the love button that this program may, may not freeze. That this program may go smoothly. That Facebook may allow us to broadcast smoothly. I want you to keep touching. If that is only what you are doing, keep touching the love button. Keep touching the like button. And keep sharing. Lolo. Uchechi. Okuchukukano. Oga drege na mwa. Utoka chukuku kebe sikozi kwele mu. San. Mike Ozekome. Barisifa ye chukwe jofo. Nandi lo ya nine na bambo makanguro mwe. Nuzo zirezi. Ni mwe mwoni ezi oku. Chukuku kebe makagozi mdidi otuwa. Ewena yoko chukuku kebe. Mnisu mwuna indeno ni mafia. Indeno ni kota labia franya. The great men of Easter Security Network. And their M branch. Ebo wapu nunu no. Agwa manta bonu. Abi ama mba bonu. Mili nezo yi zaman zo bonu. Angwa na chacha mancha bonu. De hihe angwa gaha mba bonu. Naba ni angwa gaha iti bonu. Baba nda waga hada bonu. Ono gana yi jono gana anata. Ono gana dindo. Wefo. Uru. Umero umwe. Nkono na anu. Una anu ogea. Gaba rae. Chukwa kebe manu ma yogi. Ulego bunyomu biyafra nyine behama. Kabu ftego. Tiyan na njima. Ndeni ne wopete wopete waga dhiro na masi miho mu ndino ni adalo na wadena na kopulu na ome. Epele kani nepeni isu na mamu tutu mwane hihi manabani. Ape kona mwa uzo tata. Iji uwasa lo uwozi. Ni hino ne mwa jolo shimi lo topo labo. Ebo ni mwoke na chogo mwa ya na chogo. Adi mwenye ni kwa gumbo ya buwele. Kama mwane mwute bitu mwane ubidiji. Ndeni ne nabwa ya mwane ni nukwa kwa jwa nisi hae. Ali meke ne. Mwane ni kamazi china sa woro. Nuzo na basa lae na kwesi eme. Ifo wabona nkaye na nkaye chow. Kaye si chonya. Mbo ni nende diyo es na ba. Na puta. Ife wopere wopere. Manoke na atira yonu ka fifeni. Yonu ka fifeni ni kurosadi. E wende ke niko wanda yungoke. Mazi u ke osi u. Eke loro eke. You are versatile. You are everywhere. The work you are doing for this. Our great nation. Will not be in vain. Yokike will continue to bless you. I call your name, I mention your name for a purpose. Those of them that doesn't understand or acknowledge who you are and what you'll be doing may play with your name. But people like me can never, ever play with your name.
because I know that you are doing great. Watch my antecedents. I cannot praise you today and tomorrow I come to castigate you. No, unless you do something that is visible before the world, then I will castigate you. But as long as I'm concerned, Mazu Kiosi, Ibu Machineke, Ezibutu Machineke, Nika Balistifa, and Chukwe Jofosi, we are also now Ezibutu Machineke. You are one of them. I appreciate you, my brother. Thank you. Before I move on, I want to announce to each and every one of you today that I promise to share card to IPOB Media Warriors and Biafrans, those that are living in the dungeon called Nigeria and those that are in Biafra land. Since three days that I announced it, I have not shared the card. I started sharing it this morning. And so many of you can testify that you have gotten card from me. And I want to thank our brothers and our sisters, those who are sponsoring, who are sending money for this card sharing. You people should keep bringing it in. We need it. They call us media, recharge card media warrior. We did not deny. We are recharge card media warrior. But if only recharge card media warrior can fight and bring even BBC Igbo down, bring them on their knees after publishing their fallacy, which they call uh, uh, which they call a, a, a documentary against this movement, then what are you thinking about? If this same media warrior, the church card media warrior, can stand the test of time to fight all the enemies of Biafra and making sure that the plans of the enemy and the work of the state actors did not prevail, then this is a great recharge media warrior, the church card media warrior. If the same media warrior can continue to fight to make sure that nobody brings down the leadership of this movement known as the Rhetoric of State, then they are what they are great. And I want to make it very, very clear that each and every one of you that is sharing this program, sharing the program of all the broadcasters, sharing the program for Maze, Chike Doze, Maze, Azayoba, Maze, uh, China Sawuru, sharing the program from Rapture Media, Biafra, Biafra Television, sharing as it is hot, and so many of them. And those of you who are writing, you are a media warrior. There is nobody that is stamped a media warrior on his face. As we are sharing this program, commenting, doing the needful, you are also fighting. Therefore, this card sharing is for each and every one of you, especially those of you on the ground. And I want to appreciate those of them, their friends living and abroad, that have been supporting and sending card, recharge card, so that we can data ourselves and continue the work. What is a recharge card? Does, uh, does the Europeans and Americans use recharge card to buy data to broadcast or to do anything on the internet? No. There's what is called DSL. That is landline. From landline, you get DSL. That is how they, 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 they program their internet providing services. Does Nigeria have landline? No. How can you get to in, go to get a, 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 your phone, get internet into your phone? It is only by buying recharge card. It's either you buy recharge card, then you turn it to data, or you buy data direct from the service providers. In abroad, if you recharge for one month, it is one month. Anything you want to do, it doesn't concern the company. It's called contract. You can recharge your DSL. Uh, in your house in, 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 in abroad and 1,000 people can use it for one month. It doesn't matter what you do. That is contract. But down here, in this contraption they call a country that the enemies, the, 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 the man called Lord Lugard put all of us together. Thank God he did not give birth to any child. Because by bringing people, children of God and the Umekwesu together. So it is when we buy the charge card that we'll be able to access the internet. So if you have not sent money for this media warrior to buy a charge card to anybody you want to dispense it, it is time for you to do so. Because without this recharge card, we can do nothing. Without this data, we can do nothing. We are able to bring the enemies on their knees with this same recharge card. In case you don't know, I have to be proud to tell you this, and that is the truth. The system we found ourselves in need that we must buy data or recharge card before we can broadcast. 
But the, the system that the white people give to their, the European and America give to their children is that you don't need to buy the charge card for you to broadcast. What you need to, to do is to pay the company because there's a DSL, there's a landline. From that landline, they now give you access to internet. But here we don't have it. So ignore any idiot that is saying that you are a recharge card media warrior. The recharge card media warrior that is doing greater than those who doesn't even have who, who have better internet providing services. I want to appreciate each and every one of you that have supported us in so many ways. This program today is going to be exceptional because of the content. Because of the topic I want to treat, the content of this program is going to be different. Therefore, I appreciate each and every one of you that are watching this program. If you are from a bank, if you are from a Yoruba, please they call a bank. If you are from a Doma, if you are from a Ikede, if you are from a Izon, if you are from Igbo, if you are from Anang, any part of Biafra land that is them is being mentioned. Urobo. If you are from all these part of all these places I made mention, you are a Biafra. Nobody can deny you the fact that you are a Biafra. It doesn't matter what the enemy does. And I want to remind you something that anything that they want to do to the people they call the Igbos will definitely get to you. If they want to kill the Igbos, want to attack the Igbos, they will not count you out as a robo man. They will not count you out as Igede man. They will not count you as, out as a, as a Ibipio man. They will not. They count all of us when they want to decimate us. Because look at us, we are the same people. Fascia look, we resemble. Traditionally, we are the same. Culturally, we are the same. We share common value system. That is why they are trying to profile the Igbo, the Igbo, Igbo people. And that, profile, that profiling of Igbo people is going to affect you that say you are not Igbo, but you are from Ikwere. It's going to affect you that, is, that say you are not Igbo, but you are from Anang. They knows, the enemies knows the people they are profiling and what they are doing to them. And today, I have come to dissect the stupidity, the the. the, the Fraudulent activity of Simon Ebelima and Dr. Cho Ayaba. I have come to dissect them today. But before then, I want to tell you that we will continue sharing our card. I have shared the first section this morning. By tomorrow morning, I will continue. The more people send, people are proud that I'm, I'm telling the world that their friends abroad bring money for us to buy card. And each time I receive any time, I put it on my platform. So the enemy can continue dying. That is transparency. If 50 Kobo is sent to me to buy the tax card, I, I, I tell Biafrans, we, we have 50 Kobo to share. If 1,000 Naira is sent, I will tell Biafrans, 1,000 Naira. That, that is how society I am. I don't need your money for anything. If this money is meant to share among Biafrans who are fighting and, and sharing our information because we are making use of this, this 21st century internet. This is internet, internet world, internet regime. We must continue to make use of it. We are, we are lucky that Chiko Okabima brought us in this program, in this movement, at the time that it is social media that is the most listened and most watched uh, uh, platform. Nobody listens to you on your CNN and BBC anymore. Everything is on internet. So we'll continue to share our, you know, card to those who deserve it. Because there are people who doesn't share our program, but they come in bus to say, we need card. Can you send me? I am one of them. I will check your, your platform. I will not see anything. Then I will, I, I, I will pass you by. No segregation. The more the, the money comes, the more I pump out data and card to people. And you continue to share. The world must hear our voice. The, most, the world must take note of what we are doing. Mazen Nandikano is still in the hand of the enemy. And we can never abandon him. We shall continue to fight. Those of you who are fighting on the ground, those of you who are fighting on the internet, those of you who are, who are fighting uh, from, the, from the side of coordinating, and so many. If there is no money in this struggle, this struggle would have died for a very long time. So we need money to keep pushing it forward. Thank you very much. Now let us get into the real business of the day. 
The main business of the day is Dr. Cho Ayaba. Some of you do not know him. And the, I want to explain something to you in a way that you will understand it. In some cases, I will speak broken. In some cases, I will speak Igbo. I wish I understand uh, a, a Bibio language. I wish I understand uh, a, a Igede language. I wish I understand uh, Urubo language. I will be using, mixing it in this particular program that some of our people who are from these areas will understand what I'm talking about. For the first time in my life, I saw a, 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 a people that are so naive, so myopic to a fault that somebody used his hard earned money to buy flight tickets from one European country to Finland for a referendum, the so called referendum. I have never witnessed this before. The first time I'm seeing such arrant nonsense, such childish act. I do not know the kind of juju that Simon Ekberima have used on these people that they cannot reason. You are living in France. You are living in Italy. You are living in Holland. You are living in Spain. You went and bought Kinecha. You went and bought flight tickets. You bought a flight from France to Finland that you are going for a referendum. Getting there, what you saw there was about ID card. Referendum for Simon Ebelima was a cover story and a cover page. The underlying, what the real content is, the money that he's going to make from the from the ID card that he wants to print. And you see men and women, grown up people, 50 years, 60 years, I even saw 70 years old man there, jumping up, celebrating mediocrity, celebrating stupidity, madness. How will Mazen Nandekano feel when he see this kind of rubbish from the people he has been preaching to for over 12, 13 years. Some of you makes mass in Namdekanu that have been teaching you people, educating you people, telling you people, giving you reason how to reason and how to think that he has done nothing. That is what some of you are trying to prove. That a matured man, a matured woman, buying tickets for one country one European country to another European country in the name of going for referendum. Booking for hotel and getting there. What you saw was ID card. That Ibrima is printing ID card for Biafran people. I'm not seeing like and love on this program today. Why? I want that thumb, that thumb. I want it, please. That this program may not freeze and continue to run smoothly. Ibrima I don't know what this guy have done to some of you. Simon have have proven to Mazen Namdekano that some people that Mazen Namdekano have been preaching to are so much daft. They are naive. They are myopic. They are short-sighted. They cannot see. I thank God for this moment that so many things that have unveiled from that dimension that Mazen Nankan was talking about, is very, very clear to the whole world that some of our people are very, very stupid. We know that our people crave for freedom. We know that our people crave for free life. We deserve to have amenities. We deserve to determine our own futures. But we deserve also to prove to the world that we are ready to be free. By having mental capacity, sense of reasoning. If your brother went to Finland, if your sister went to Finland, if anybody that is in relation to you, that, that is related to you, went to Finland, in the name of going for a referendum of a, of, of a country, of a nation, that no single country, no single international community observer Nobody recognized, nobody see. Oh my goodness me! Because the get snake with her, how will I be explaining this to my, to my, to my, to my maybe six months old baby? That's men of forty years, fifty years, bought ticket to go and they dance and they eat and they talk rubbish, all in the name of of ID card. 
If someone if Mark could, uh, had told you guys that what you are coming to do is about the Biafra database, Biafra, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, ID card printing, some of you will not go. I know. But the topic which he used to drag some of, most of you to Finland is even worse. Because there is no how you can do a referendum of a nation in another nation. There's no how you can run a referendum of Biafra in Finland. It's not possible. If referendum is supposed to take place, it should be taking place in Biafra land. And there are supposed to be international observers. United Nations observers will be there. African Union will be there. European Union will be there. The G7 will send delegates. G7 are the first seven most powerful countries that rules this world. They all, all of them, will send delegates to monitor that referendum. And he used referendum to deceive all of you, and all of you took to Finland, buy a bought ticket. Some even went with the wife and husband. That is to tell you how, how low you are, the, the, the mental capacity of those guys that went to Finland was. I did not want to talk about it. I said, let me watch out and see the stupid set of people who are going to attend to this rubbish, this guy called referendum. And Dr. Chu Ayaba, when you look at someone at Berima, you people understand that everywhere Mazenan can put head. Everywhere Mazenan can go. Everything that Mazenan can talk about. Anybody that Mazenan can want to connect with. This guy called Simon Ekberima will go there. He doesn't have content of his own. He doesn't have idea of his own. He doesn't have capacity or ability to convince people of his own. He relied on Mazen Namdekano's efforts. He relies on Mazen Namdekano's, you know, ideology. And keep deceiving some people into believing that he is fighting for Biafra. What is it that Mazen Nandi can have done that the experiment have not tried to duplicate? When the original original copy is copy, Simon Ekberima is trying to photocopy photo, uh, everything Mazen Nandi can have done. Should I start counting for you? What about his radio station that he claimed that he have, he have, he have set up? After he got the information and the plan to bring Radio Biafra down last year, he quickly floated, he said he floated the Biafra radio, what they call it. How many people are listening to it? And he collected money from Biafra, from these fools who went to Finland to hands up and they shout so that they, they will be clapping, hey, shouting as if something good is happening. Displaying their, 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 their stupidity. Where is that radio? Dead and gone. Where it went into oblivion. Where is someone in my so-called, uh, 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 what do you call it, M branch? Those uh, Boy Scouts went into oblivion. Everything that Mazenan can have done, he tried to replicate it. He tried to duplicate it. He tried to copy it. He tried to do the same. You know, Simon Eberima is, you know, looking at Mazen Nandekanu picture, assuming that he is in position of Mazen Nandekanu or that he can be Mazen Nandekanu. But in 10, in, in 10 billion years, you cannot be up to Mazen Nandekanu syllabus. Simon Eberima is fake. And Cho Ayaba is a fake and very stupid man. Dr. Cho Ayaba, you are a very stupid man. You're a coward. Mazin Namikano wanted to form alliance, try to form alliance with the Oduduwa people when they were shouting Oduduwa Nation now, nah, Yoruba Nation now, nah, Oduduwa Nation now. Nah. Mazin Namikano wanted to form alliance with them. Mazin Namikano, as a matter of fact, spoke in support of Oduduwa Nation. Mazen Nandekanu, as a matter of fact, fought for Yoruba people. 
When pa Adefarasi's daughter was kidnapped by, by his men and killed, Mazen Nandekano made a program, a full-time program in, in, in respect of that. When Wole Soyinka's farm, uh, 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 farmland was, was, was destroyed, Mazen Nandekano made program in regards to that. And Mazenan can walk the spirit, the sleeping giant in the land of Yoruba. That is why they went into bringing in Amoteku as their security outfit. Because they saw that Mazenan can have set up Eastern Security Network. They brought Amoteku. And all the Yorubas, they, stand, they stood with Amoteku and signed it into law. Government of Yoruba land begin to sponsor them, give them cars, give them gone. They begin to checkmate their land. That is why you're no longer hearing the incessant killing of Fulanese in Yoruba land. Mazenam is the is the driven is the mechanism that drives that that uh, uh, stoppage of the killing of Yoruba people. The moment Mazenam Nkano was kidnapped, Simon Ekberima rushed to Congo Media. Rushed to what is the name of that one? That, that old man that is not ashamed of himself, thinking that these people were genuine. He thought that these people were genuine. He rushed to them. He began to shout, the Afro Alliance with Odudua, the Afro Alliance with Everywhere Mazenan can put an idiot in the there, 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 there is a man called uh, uh, Dr. Masanga. Mazenan Khan was interviewed on his platform. Simon Ekberima went to the man platform and he even brought, he tried to bring the man to, to his platform. If open a Mazenan Khan to this, Simon Ekberima would like to go there. Why can't this guy fashion out his own movement, you know, design it, do his own thing without copying Mazenan the Khan? Everything is copy, copy, copy. Thank you very much, Banji. Professor Banji. Where is that the alliance together today? Where is the alliance? The alliance of Ududua and the Simon Ekberima, where is it? Because the people who are shouting Ududua, they have, they, they have, they were focusing on the presidency. They knew that that their Ududua, Ududua was fake. Their intention was to get their brother into power. And immediately they got it, they withdraw. Koi Koi Media is no longer talking. The only person that is fighting from the front line, talking, saying it the way it is, is Mayegu. Diary. My diary, I salute you, General. I salute you. You are a courageous man. You are among one Yoruba people that I have trusted and loved because of your, of your consistency, because of your tenacity. You are fearless. You deserve to be the Ore on the of Yoruba land. You, my good General. My good diary, I'm talking to you. I say you deserve to be the Orel and Kakam for fear of your land. You never shake. You always say it the way it is. I see the heart. You are my kind of person. If I check you spiritually, you and I, Mazen Nam Mekano, and those great men, Mazen Chinas and those and other great men who are doing marvelous in this struggle, must have born and came from the same side of the world because we say no to evil. But the one you call Koi Koi Media, the one you call Sunday Boho, don't you see Sunday Boho at, at, at uh, 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 Benin Republic in the club enjoying his money? Sunday Boho is enjoying himself in, in Kotonou now. The issue of Oduduwana and Oduduwana is dead and buried. If their brother come out of power right now, you see them jump out again, begin to talk to Oduduwana and Oduduwana. Biafra customary government, which the, uh, the uh, Uche Mefo and the uh, Asari Dokubo uh, uh, pretend, um, uh, let me say, pretended to, to have, you know, formed. Where is it? It went into oblivion. What about the man they call, uh, what is his name again? Nkene um, Bugari File, the one that carried file up and down since 30 years. So, uh, Tony Nadi. Who was advising Mazen Nandekanu to take to do what Ekberima is doing now, forming Biafra government in Ezra? That was the original plan of Tony Nadi. In case you people don't know, Tony Nadi is speaking with Simon Ekberima. Tony Nadi is the one that is pushing Simon Ekberima to go into this fraudulent activity he called Biafra referendum in the in Ezra. Where is Tony Nadi today? 
He say his fight he, 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 the name of his own uh, federal fighting outfit is uh, Lower Niger uh, Congress. Where is the lower? Where is the Niger? Do you learn anything from that? So Joe Ayaba, who happened to be the the, the mouthpiece, the person that speaks for the Ambazonia people, because their their leader himself happened to be in the prison in Cameroon. Go to Ambazonia today. Ambazonia is completely destroyed because they were fighting on prepared war. They are fight. They were fighting on a prepared war. What they are fighting is right, but for them to pick and begin to kill police, be kill army, do their land is you, you, you cannot stay there. And that was his ideology that Mazenam can you adopt, and Mazenam can refuse. Mazenam can refuse to adopt that idea, the idea ideology of uh, a system of uh, Ambazonia freedom fighting. He said, no, it is not time. It's not time. Mazenam can believe believe that on a round table of peace, the Africa can be restored through referendum. Mazenam can did not believe that going out to kill police or kill army or to bomb everywhere is what we need now. We have fought the war already. Our fathers fought the war already. So Joe Ayaba is one one of the enemy that. You people do not know until now. You have begun to say, if I had come out to make a program about Joe Ayaba and to want their friends to be careful about that man, so many of you will come after me. So many of you will come after me, all of you that are watching this program. Like 70% of you will come after me. What are you saying? In some occasions, the things I know I see, I don't talk it. I keep quiet because I want you guys to see it with your crocodile eye so that when I say it, you will say, oh, it's true. But if I say it before it happened, so many of you will say, this man, look at him, attacking everybody. Anybody I talked about on this platform, listen to me. Pay attention when I'm talking about that person. I see something in that person, before I begin to talk about it, whether I'm talking about him in negative or a positive side, Joe Ayaba wanted IPOB to start bombing and destroying Nigeria properties. Mazenan can refuse and said, No, that is not what we are fighting for. Joe Ayaba wanted this struggle to be like their own. Mazenan can said, No, we will not follow that path. So the moment Mazenan can was kidnapped and rendition to Nigeria, Joe Ayaba saw it as, a, as an opportunity and now went deeply into, uh, went in, in deeply with the Berima. Begin to discuss with the Berima, to tell the Berima, now they are holding your leader. Do this, do that. As Joe Ayaba, since his, their leader was kidnapped, was arrested and kept in prison in, in Cameroon, I don't know if that man is still alive. Have they released the man has the government of Cameroon released his, his boss? I'm asking you guys. What is the movement that these people are, are pushing forward? Sometimes I even begin to ask myself, do you think that some of the decisions of Mazen Namdekano, some, some of the decisions he made, if he made it out of compassion or he made it out of a mistake, because he seems at a point, it seems like it is the Biafrans, the IPOB, that are even carrying the Ambazonia movement on their shoulder, speaking for them, fighting for them. The alliance of Ambazonia and Biafra is a very beautiful thing. I must not deny the fact because we are one people. These are our brothers, in case you don't know. But since they divided. The, the part of Ambazonia agreed through referendum to join Cameroon. In case you don't know, in case you don't know, let me put it in your head. Part of Ambazonia agreed, they signed a referendum, an agreement to join the Cameroon. We did not sign any paper to be in Nigeria. IPOB, Biafra did not sign any paper to be in Nigeria. But the Cho Ayaba people, the Ambazonia people agreed unanimously to be with Cameroon. Now that we are fighting to liberate ourselves, they are fighting to liberate themselves. 
Now the system which they have adopted is not is not the best because so many people have been killed. Their land is not is non inhabitant. You can't go there and do business or live as peaceful as our land is. So Cho I ever wanted our land to be like that of Ambazonia. But Mazen has a lot of plans. Plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D, plan E, plan F, up to plan C. Or even above plan C. So he used that opportunity to enter Igberima. And Igberima being a state actor, be an agent of provocateur, knowing fully well that if he begin to do all those things that Joe Ayaba had been doing with his people for a very long time, that is going to affect Mazen Nandekano directly and indirectly, physically, spiritually, and otherwise. So they want Mazen Nandekano out of the way. If that system of Cho Ayaba and Ambazonia fighting, which Ekberima have adopted, is working, why are they still holding their leader for so many years? Why? Their system would have released their leader. In their country, go and check the history. There, if there is any court case about their leader, I am yet to see it. We are a court in Yaoundé. Declare that the leader of Ambazonia, who is in their hand, has been set free by the court of the, of, of the country. I have not seen so. Please, if you have seen, I want you to send it to me. I want you to send it to me. That the leader of, 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 uh, of uh, the, the, the people of, uh, of uh, Ambazonia, our own brothers, was set free by the court of, of Cameroon. Do you know why you will not see such information? Because they raised arm. Because they carry arm. And they were fighting in the name of their leader that is in the, in the hand of the, of, the, of, the, of the country that are putting them down. Are you listening to me? Please, Charles Davis, stop, stop, stop spamming this program. Start, if, you, if you send more one message, Charles David, I will block you here. You are spamming this program. One, you send a message, you can type something else. Don't continuously send you one message again here. I'm not here for a, for a joke. What you are writing may be good, but I have seen it. The world has seen it. Don't continue sending it again. It's called spamming. And Facebook can use it to flag this, this program. Once I see it again, I will bring you down. So what I'm saying is this. Since Ekberima have declared armed struggle, just as Joe Ayaba declared armed struggle in Ambazonia, has the leader of Ambazonia movement been freed? No. Did any court in Cameroon declare him innocent? No. He did not. Why? Because they have gone into armed struggle. There is no country that is holding you down that can declare your leader innocent or a free man while you are carrying gun, killing their military, killing their police, killing everybody. It is never done. The reason why I'm doing, please send this, send this, this program to any forum where the autopilots are. All those autopilot, shallow-minded human beings, send this message to them that they may listen and get sense. Put this program in the in the in the in the house of the enemies. All of them put together. Put this program to them. Let them listen. The reason why the leader of Ambazonia was not released is because it is known that he, the people who are following him were fighting. They have taken up arms. And that is what Joe Ayaba wants Egberima to do. You want DOS to do it. You want Mazenanka to do it. Mazenanka say no. Then when Mazenanka was captured, he wanted DOS to adapt that kind of uh, freedom fighting. DOS said no. Or if any make a DOS capital call on. It's not everything. Not be everything. DOS said DOS go come the on But when people like Mazo Elizabeth became brokers, listen and take something home. Don't just be a, a follow follow member. Use your senses. The reason why they have not released their leader is because they have taken up arms and there is no how a competent court of jurisdiction will declare their leader a free man just as the, as the court declared Mazen Nankan a free man today. Do you know why? 
Do you know why? Because the indigenous people of Biafra led by Mazen Nam the Kano, in the absence of Mazen Nam the Kano, DOS championing the movement led by Mazen Chike Dozim, jettisoned anything about armed struggle. He rejected everything about armed struggle. At the same time, condemned in writing, condemned in writing, any man or any woman who is carrying gun, going about Biafra land, killing police and army. We disassociated ourselves from them, making it clear to the government of the country, making it clear to the court of the country, with verifiable facts and figures in their hand, that the people that Mazen Nankan is leading are not violent. They are not criminals. They are not terrorists. That is why the DSS boss in Imo State, the director of DSS in Imo State, came out in the open to tell the whole world that the criminality going on in Southeast has nothing to do with the indigenous people of Biafra called IPOB, led by Mazen Namikano. Some of you don't have common sense. Some of you don't have sense. I'm sorry to say this. That very day, DSS declared that Mazen Namdekanu followers are not the criminal that are kidnapping and burning shops and killing, killing and killing police and army. It was the day that it is that it, it is made clear to the whole world that Mazen Namdekanu and everybody that are fighting for Biafra under his command are genuinely fighting for our freedom and that we have no crime on our shoulder. We have right to fight for our freedom. DSS confirmed it. And when you begin to see such reports, you know that something is cooking, something is happening. Because we have proven to them that we are not part and parcel of a Berima freedom fighting, not they are not fighting freedom, a Berima followers criminals. And Joe Ayaba is the man, the brain behind what is happening in Biafra land in support of a Berima. You see, those people they brought, they, they, they snap, they, they say they have inaugurated their fighters, their Biafra army, this and that. Most of them are Ambazonian people. Most of them are Cho Ayaba's men. I want you to open your ear because some of you don't get sense. Most of those people you see there, at least 70% or 80% of them are Ambazonians. Whom Cho Ayaba have brought into Simon Eberima activities in Biafra land. The real people that Simon Eberima have are those one that paint one of his side of uh, his beer, beer following him. That is the only what he has as his army. The rest number of people you see there are from Ambazonia. Some of them speak Igbo, in case you don't know. Maybe tomorrow, they may, when they watch this video finish, they will go out there and make a video and speak Igbo. I say they say we are. Some of them, Ambazonia speaks Igbo. Our Igbo people are living there, in case you don't know. Go within the, as is the place they call Bakasi Peninsula. 75% of people living there are Igbos. They speak Igbo. They acknowledge aka Ori Afonko inside that Bakasi Peninsula. You don't know, know you today. Their attire, their everything, their tradition is of Igbo. They are Igbos. Our people migrated to those places, you see. So now that Igberima have fronted them just to make you people think that he has army on the ground, that he have men on the ground, that he have this. He even boasted. I listened to him. Somebody sent me his video. I listened to it where he was boasting. Telling, the, telling you that they say that they are five. They have, you are, they have seen their army. Which army do you have? He was not even proud to proclaim that this is army that are fighting for him. Besides, IPOB do, do not have army. Remember that he was championing autopilot, autopilot, autopilot. Until we bombarded, we bombarded him. We bombarded him. He, he was before, formally saying, Biafra, 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 IPOB, IPOB. We bombarded him. Then he took they stand on, on autopilot. Then when they finish, when they, 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 they finish intelligence, 
the British intelligence base is finished, came to Biafra land to do investigation about the people that they, that they were shot and killed in, in Biafra land, especially that pregnant woman. They did not look for anybody known as a member of autopilot. They asked for Ima Powerful, the original owner of the land. The, the, the media, the media uh, 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 secretary of IPOB, the publicity secretary of IPOB, Ima Powerful. They looked for him. And the more powerful gave them every fact that is needed, every material that is needed. When the Berima saw that we have defeated him by not using the word IPOB, which has helped us, the Berima now do you turn to say, no, from this moment, we'll be answering IPOB. Everything he's trying to do is to mix it, but the world have already know the truth. To make people believe that the people who are kidnapping, the people who are killing police army, the people who are burning houses in Beverland are IPOB. But the world have already known the difference between Capital B and Obefi. The world knew. So no matter how he call himself IPOB or whatever, he does not hold any water. So that is Mirage ID card. Nonsense that he conducted in Finland telling you that you want to do a referendum is another thing that I want to explain to you in details that your brain that is blocked as a member of that rubbish called autopilot may open. Look at what Simon Eberima does. Simon Eberima wanted to extort money from IPOB from Biafras. That is why he first revised from claiming to be autopilot leader, now adding IPOB to them. Because he know he cannot come out and say, uh, if you are an autopilot member, uh, this ID card for you, no. So he must add IPOB. And he must be doing it, telling the world that he's doing it because of Mars and Namdekano, so that the, 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 the gullible ones will follow him and listen to him. Some of the brain, your brain know the work. Your brain, your brain know the sharp. You did talk. But the people that are the most dumbest people I've ever seen are those that are following you, those that enter flight to come to that shenanigans you call referendum. But ID, ID card presentation in disguise. They are the people that I'm, I'm laughing at. Now, reference, let me tell you what happened. You see, the money that this guy, the money that was paid to this guy, he used it to, you know, Attract more followership using Mazen and the canon name than trying to say, trying to tell you people, convince you people that he's doing something that nobody has done. But everything you saw him doing, where the advice that was given to Mazen and Mazen and the rejected all from A to C, knowing fully well that you cannot print an ID card as a Biafran because by bet, automatically you are a Biafran. No Biafran need an ID card to be acknowledged as Biafra. This is the same thing that was Rike did under Mosul. Was Rike who printed ID card, Biafra ID card, selling it. And was Rike was using Nigeria ID card. Was Rike printed Biafra passport, selling it. And was Rike was using Nigeria passport to travel. Was Rike printed Biafra plate number, selling it. But was Rike was using Nigeria plate number to drive his cars. So when the people that we are following was Rike found out that this man has been deceiving them all in the name of giving them freedom because our people are craving for freedom for a very long time. We are a decent people that likes freedom. Live and let's live. They begin to separate from Wazurike. They begin to live Wazurike. That is why there was a fraction from from uh, from Mosul called uh, Bim, led by Uchen Namado. Is it BIM? I think it's BIM, what they call them. They separated from Wazurike. They knew that Wazurike has been, has been, has been, has been you know, extorting money from them. Telling them the Afra is coming tomorrow. Ban Ki-moon will come next tomorrow. And nothing was happening. They have not seen anything. And Wazurike was busy, you know, buying expensive cars, building his hotels, his uh, uh, hostels, building a, a magnificent building. That is weird. Iberima is heading to. He wants to start with ID card. <laughs> and this ID card he's talking about 
claiming to build a, to have a database of Biafra, how many elder statesmen in Biafra are standing with what Ebenema is doing? No, not even one person. But I tell you that Mazen Nandikano have consulted all the elder statesmen in Biafra land. Some of them have died, and so many, so many of them are still alive. I myself with Mazen Nandikano have visited so many of them. I cannot continue to mention names. And on each visit, blessing was showered on Mazen Nandikano. Blessing upon blessing upon or oh, for Kana Golia, each elder statesman, each Biafran former uh, warlord that Mazen Nandikano visited, blessed him. And told him to continue what he's doing. And my junior Biafra, how many people has this idiot called Simon the Grimma visited in Biafra land? Or even abroad? As I'm talking to you right now, he is being monitored. He cannot leave Finland. Simon the is under the watch of, of, uh, of, uh, of um, uh, what do you call him, uh, uh, of CIA. CIA are watching him. FBI are watching him. Interpol are watching him. He cannot leave Finland. All this you see him doing, he has support from the enemies of this struggle. But at a time, we shall see where he's going to land. So they are still holding Mazin Nam the Kano, using him to continue pushing all this his agenda so that, you know, Mazin Nam the Kano and those who are following Mazin Nam the Kano may think that we are no longer doing it right. How many persons have he visited? Nobody. But Mazen Nankanda have been blessed by all the elder people in Biafra land. Anywhere Mazen Nankanda goes, people follow him like, like, like bees. Do you know what attracted bees? In case you don't know, go and study it. What attracted bees is the queen. What attracted bees is the queen. That queen bee, the, the men, their mama, go, 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 is what they are protecting, in case you don't know. Anytime you see a bunch of bees gathering together, there is a queen inside there that they are protecting. If you remove that queen from that particular place, put that queen somewhere else, they will go there again. And build a house. And this is how the IPOB are following Mazen Namdekano. Anywhere Mazen Namdekano goes, we go with him. If Mazen says we stand up, we stand up. If he says sit down, we sit down. If you happen to be a lover and follower of Mazen Namdekano in the past, and because he is in the hand of the enemy, now you abandon Mazen Namdekano and claim to be following Egberima because you think Egberima is the one doing it well. Your name is sorry because so many of you that are following Ebelima right now, your community is is not habitant enough. You cannot stay there. Yesterday, at Oboro, Olo, hopeless also they must send his military and the Bubago. They shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot and shoot from morning till evening in Oboro Olo. And and the attack. These two places yesterday. Why are they shooting? They are shooting because of the activity of Simon Ebelima and his boys in those areas. What is the activities? They come out and they do what they call hit and run. They shoot a policeman. They shoot, you know, they they, they, they shoot uh, an army, army, army personnel. They run away. And the army and police will come in that community begin to kill every innocent young man, every innocent young woman, every old man, every old woman in those places. And you are clapping and supporting and following such person. And you, you were loving Mazen Namdekano in the past. And now because Mazen Namdekano is no longer there, you are now supporting people who are bringing problems to our land. A very peaceful land of Biafra, where people that are running away from north, uh, northern side of Nigeria are coming to live peacefully. Right now, Simon Ebelima have turned it to something else with his boys.
So if you don't understand what the guy is doing, I am explaining it to you in a layman language. He uses his voice, do something bad, kill police, kill army, run away, then they come back. Then the army come back and begin to kill people. Remember when Osmanel of Ebu told you that the, that Mazen Nankan is dead? It, it, Monet of Ebu made that statement on Simon de Belima's platform. You have forgotten, some of you. That Mazen Nankan is dead. Monet of Ebu pronounced that word on Simon de Belima. He thought we were not keeping record. We are keeping record. And if Simon de Belima can allow Monet of Ebu to say that Mazen Nankan is dead, Simon de Belima should also take responsibility of that particular statement that he, he also said that Mazen Nankan is dead because he gave the, his platform to a woman that claimed that Mazen Nankan is dead. And when Mazen Nankan finally appeared in the court, then the will also come again on Simon Ekberim and said the Mazen Nankan in the court is not the Mazen Nankan that, that, that we know. So in the heart of Simon Ekberim, no, there is no Mazen Nankan. He is just using his name to confuse some of you who are myopic, who are not reasonable enough, who are not tough in terms of, of reasoning. So to, to someone like Berima, Mazen Nankan is dead though, to him. That is why he is doing everything he is doing and saying he is not, he's no longer going to receive a, 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 a instruction from a man in DSS dungeon. At the point he said that what he's doing is doing it for himself, not for Mazen Namdekan. That he's taking the responsibility of destroying Biafra land. This is a man that you people are following. This is a man that some idiot bought flight ticket to go and be chanting, shouting in, in, in Finland. What a disgrace. Now, going deeply into that ID card, what happened in about that ID card is what I want to say. I know that the baby is going to be shocked. As he's watching this program live, because he do watch my program, all my program, but I used to watch it with fake account. He will not say a word; he will just be there watching. He has been preparing on how to extort money from Biafras. Any side he put his head, we follow him. Any side he put his head, we follow him. On a sozo, on a sozo. Any side he put his head, we follow him. We dismantle him. Anywhere he goes, we dismantle him. Anywhere he put his head, we dismantle him. This is what you have been doing to Simon Ekberima. You remember when Simon Ekberima said that uh, uh, how many Bia, 50 Biafrans should pay him? How much? I think he said, how many thousand dollars? Is it $10,000? I came out and said that Biafrans are not going to give you that money. You're a thief. All IPOB media warriors came out and said, you're a thief. You want to extort money from Biafrans. Nobody will pay you that money. And nobody paid him that money. He can dance ten ten thousand dollars times fifty, then bring it down to Nigeria exchange rate, then tell me how much the money will be. But we stopped him. So what he does now is, with this ID card, you see him showing you guys that he have done ID card. He have built a, 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 a database for Biafra. And the people should consult to get those ID card. What is the company he made mention? Is it open now? What did he call the name of that company? I don't know whether he said junior. Uh, that junior we we uh, identify it. What nonsense? All those things is just a scheme to extort money from you. Now four one nine. Nobody acknowledge it. Nobody acknowledge him. Can he drop put come down to Biafra land for one second alone? To see one man or one uh, strong uh, uh, evil, evil person. So what he's planning to do now is that ID card will not be free. That is why he said if it is not certified by Junior that you your, your, your ID card will be rejected. Rejected by who? Do you need ID card? Do you know why Mazenani cannot cancel ID card ownership in this struggle? Because if you do that, the struggle will be bastardized. The enemies will penetrate. People will begin to print ID card and sell. And Mazen Nankan does not want such thing in the struggle. That's why Mazen Nankan said, by the, by the, by, for the fact that you are a Biafran, 
by the virtue of your 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 bet as a Biafran, you have no need for ID card until Biafra is restored. If Biafra is restored, we will have everything intact. As we are fighting for Biafra restoration, there are men who are busy working on the foundation and the architectural uh, design of Biafra, how it's going to be, both in the judiciary, in the three arms of government. They are working on it right now. And IPOB leadership led by Mazichi Kedozium are at the helm of affairs, doing the needful. So Egberima is now planning on how to, you know, collect money from you people all in the name of having ID card for Biafra. After that, he will enter into passports. He will show you passport that Biafrans have no passport. Go and write it today, write today's date. Today is 24th of October, 2023. After ID card, if you have, you know, seen maybe some idiot who are trooping and sending money and getting that ID card done, the next step is international passport. They copy we are, what I'm saying now. Copy it as and say it is in their in their in their plan. A passport that you cannot use, an ID card that is not that is not recognized. Biafra is not yet a nation. So if you have an ID card and you are living in China and a policeman catch you, you say you are a, you are a Biafra, then you show them ID card. The first question they will ask you is, is Biafra already a nation? Then you will begin to jump up and down to say no, it's not what we are fighting for our freedom. Then you are already having ID card as a Biafra. The policeman will slap you and put you in the chair. We don't need ID card to be a Biafran. What you need to be a Biafran is the restoration of Biafra before you talk of ID card. That's not a channel. You cannot fight. You cannot. How am I going? You cannot. We want to go to the toilet to defiscate. You cannot after defiscating after cleaning your anus begin to to defiscate. It doesn't make sense. But the Ekberima is looking for money. So after the passport, Ekberima is going to tell you people more about in this in, in that his passport is when he will bring the issue of a social security number. When he will bring the issue of passport, he will introduce what he calls social security number. Was you have tried all these things and failed. So Ekberima is trying his own. And as he's trying his own, some of you are falling in, falling victim to his plans. And all this process is all about getting money from you and making sure and thinking that he is going to be relevant. He's one week, uh, you sit at home, you, you, you listened and heard what he said in secret, that his plan is to convince people that he is in charge, that it is the autopilot that is in charge of the movement, that Simon Eber is in charge of the movement. So that is ID card. It's a fraud, number one. Simon Igberima with Joe Ayaba are evil. You remember when Simon Igberima created one site that he called Biafra, whatever, 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 and asked people to go and subscribe, that people should uh, you know, download it and uh, begin to use it. Where is it? Do you know how much he collected? From Mazen Nam the Kano to do that rubbish he did. And when you are registering, you are putting your information, your name, your uh, location, your, uh, not your, okay, your name, your ID card, your age, and everything. That would have been the best way Ekberima would have, you know, he would have, would have started information of their friends and use it to do more fraud. But we stop him. Because I come on this platform to tell you that, that nobody should go and register on that site. He claimed that Facebook is nothing, that Facebook uh, is not doing it well, that Facebook is, uh, we know that they are suppressing us, that therefore we need our own network. He boast, boast, boast. Hi, Chine can not be any way. When I'm a no so so for me, I believe it. Only a fool does one particular uh, stick pluck his eye twice. Enter Biafra side. Some of you, we are rushing, thanking God, hey, we now have our own social media. Now we have our social media. And people will, 
Today, Simon, Simon Ebelema is still on Facebook. He has not left the Facebook group. And that project flopped because it was designed to, you know, to extract information of Biafra's. And we entered him, Woto Woto. We entered him. Anywhere he goes, we follow him, bumper to bumper. I don't talk about him always. I leave him to do all his own thing. When I want to talk about it, I will compile them. I use one stone to scatter. Just only one program, all his activities will be destroyed. Because I know that as I'm speaking now, right now, some of those some of those deluded men and women that travel to Finland will be regretting why they went there. That referendum cover name was a fraud. There was nothing like referendum that took place in Finland. It was the announcement of ID card, which is centered, projected towards extorting money from you. Will Ekberima print those ID cards and give to the people, those his foolish followers who want it by, for free? No, you have to pay. You have to pay. You must have to pay. You will pay. Ekberima cannot give you anything free. And his main target is those people who live abroad. And all the, all the idiots he call his army, his uh, this and that, they are killing them on daily basis, but he cannot come out and talk about it. Are you aware that some of the Ebelima boys are being apprehended, they are being killed on daily basis, but some of the Ebelima have never come out for once and announced the attack on the people, the killing of, of the people that, that are following him. Never will he talk about it. He cannot talk about it. Because he believes if you talk about it, the rest of people will get sense. There are so many people that were deceived following him that are now that have now you know retraced their step, said no, we are going the wrong way. We need to go back to that original IPO because it's led by Mazen and Kano. So many of them. So this ID card scheme was introduced by Joe Ayaba to Simon Ebelima. Use it to extort money from them, use it to Prove that you are in charge. Now, I want to give each and every one of you an assignment now. Those of you that are listening. Listen. Any day that Mazen Nandekano is released, he's already free. He's a free man. Any day he left DSS dungeon. The moment Simon de Benima here, that Mazenan can is free. The way I'm not going to go to the people there, Simon Ebelema will be the first person that will run out and run the program. When I speak, you write it down. You may not like me, but write my words down. Because it must, it must, it must surely come to fruition. And my fuzzle. Sometimes when I speak, not be me, but the spirit in me, they talk. He will make a program. The first program he will do is to acknowledge Mazen Nam Dekano as his leader. And he's going to use line like this. That everything he has done, he did it for Mazen Nam Dekano. That now that Mazen Nam Dekano is out. That he is going to surrender all everything he's doing to Mazen Nam Dekano. That will be his first, his first press uh, release. Then will Mazen Nandekanu do not acknowledge him in return? Will Mazen Nandekanu do not give him green light? Will Mazen Nandekanu ignore him, which I know he will ignore him? Or if there is any case that Mazen Nandekanu come out and talk about him to free those people that we are captured, that we are captured, that we are captives of Simon Ekbenima lies, he will run another program. That is when the attack of Mazen Nandekanu officially began on his platform. And that will spell his doom. Because the moment Mazen Nandekanu come out, 95.9% .9 of those who rush to Finland, all in the name of, of referendum, will leave him. 
Hey, tu vois qui cadre à moi? Allez, mende on a ouzé Moses, zé mon dédon de deux camas dans le cadre du pouvoir. Autant c'est un bagage cossé, dès n'a pas pas quoi. If Mazi is released tomorrow, he will be the first person that will come and acknowledge Mazi, praise him, say all the things, say now that Mazi is out now, that he's going to submit everything, all the documents, all that he have went to South Korea and the government of South Korea have given him uh, 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 ammunition and that ammunition is somewhere that they have given him uh, this and that, they have given him that and this, that now he wants to surrender everything to Mazen Namikano, that he makes sure that Mazen Namikano is out, that is him that fought and Mazen Namikano is released. After that, he will wait for two weeks or three weeks. As the case may be, it may not even be up to two weeks when Mazen broadcast and acknowledge all Umu Chineke. Mention the name of all the people that loves him, that respected his order, followed the, the, the leadership that he left behind, the instruction. Those that followed the instruction, those that respected his instruction, those that love him even in his absence. Mazi, we acknowledge all of us. <laughs> you will not hear Simon Lake by his mouth. <laughs> The moment Mazi did not mention his name, blacklist him. Obi Anaho. And my wife will never me. Because some of you children are, because the Mazi Nan can not in the DSS dungeon, the Omari Fene outside. Mazi Nan the cannot be choke. Ono no ubone, ono no no man ubone yana zonafia. Mazi Nan the can that I know. Anywhere he go. Humanity favors him. Even the DSS that hold him will also come to him and tell him things that he need to know. Happening outside. I am telling you this, what I know. Do you know that when Mazen Nankan was leaving Kuja prison in 2017, that the directorate of the of Kuja prison was shedding tears? The tears he was shedding is not that he doesn't want Mazi to be free, but the kind of man that Mazi is. Because each time Mazi Nan can enter into his office and sat with him, talk with him for only 10 minutes, the man's life will be changed. The man will see a great orator. The man will see a great man in making. The man will see a savior in, in Mazi Nan the Kanu. When the guy joined the number, Mazen Nan cannot put him at the prison. The director, there, the chief warder there, shook his hand and never allowed, never released Mazen. Who talk about the Mazen Nan cannot make a judge? Which I am not coming to say this case. So the judge is saying he can. Mas, what a love! Because Mazi is the only person that I know as a freedom fighter that will go in the house of the enemy. The enemies will turn to become his friend. Whether you like it or you don't like it. Whether you like it or you don't like it. This is the Mazen Nankan that I know. That is why when he came into Kuja prison, Mazen Nankan brought into Kuja prison, he brought joy and hope to the inmates there. There was a competition that Mazen Nankanu hosted 18 years ago. Mazen Nankanu's uh, 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 tournament was played in Kuja prison. You know, you never hear that one, but I tell you now. His, comp his own competition was played in Kuja prison. The enemies of Mazen Nankanu became his friends. The members of Boko Haram that were arrested love Mazen Nankanu. You cannot stop it. So all this, all this, all this is I'm saying here, some of you do not know it. Few people know. But as I'm telling, as I'm telling you the way it is, that is to let you understand that Mazen Nam the Kano, when he comes out, he is going to acknowledge all the good people and the, the evil among us, he will deal with, he will deal with them. Mark my word somewhere. That Simon will attack Mazen Nankan when he come out. Because Mazen Nankan got away and all. Mazen Nankan will not mention his name for once. The only thing Mazen Nankan will mention his name is to destroy him completely. 
but he will first come out to give Mazen Nam the kind of signal like, I'm a good guy. I fought for your freedom. You are not fighting for Mazen Nam the kind of freedom. You are fighting to let Mazen, to have Mazen Nam the kind of killed in the hand of the enemy. If you are not seeing it, then open your eyes, dear friends. Those of you that are still following him, open your eyes. This guy is extorting you, extorting you people, destroying our land, making life unbearable for our people, using his voice to, you know, cause mayhem in our land. That is the truth. I have challenged him several. If you be man, come down here. I dare, I'm on the ground. If I'm a man, come down. If I'm a man, come down. Be in the front line and the mention that you are protesting. I will, I will join you. He said it was a threat that I was threatening him. So me that is talking about my freedom, I, I don't have threat. That is the difference between a true freedom fighter and a, a 419 acclaimed freedom fighter. They're different. Mazi promised the world I was going to Nigeria. He came to Nigeria. He was arrested. He went to the prison. We came out and fought. And to some of you, some of you stupid idiots, some of you myopic idiots that always say that if not because of Simon Ekberima, that the Mazen Nankan would, would have been forgotten. In 2017, Simon Ekberima have not joined the struggle. He did not even join the struggle. In 2017, in 2015, he was he was eating yam in with the Ike Kurimado in Germany. It is the same, this IPOB leadership, these gallant media warriors that fought and fought and fought and fought. Abuja caught, caught fire. The number of men that marched, that trooped into Abuja is insurmountable. You cannot, you cannot count them. Mazen Nandekanu presence in Abuja brought the presence of Biafra flag in Abuja. All the whole embassies in Abuja closed down, asking what is happening. People were shouting Zobu Zobu any by any in the street of Azo Abuja, having Biafra flag. What has it been done? Nothing. Nothing. Men like us who went into a Berima land, a Boyi state, is Biafra land, and protested and fought the military, and even scaled through. We were ready to take bullets. Can a Berima try that? No, 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 no. Up to Obalu Nebu, Obalu Nebu, Obalu Nebu, up to Omocha Cha Helisi, Obalu Nebu. A freedom fighter. He is dancing. Because the Mugu that we are following him are paying. The Mugu following him are paying him very, very well. That is why he's dancing. Have you ever seen me come on this platform and begin to happy, begin to jump up and drink beer and drink? Oh boy, I cannot do that. Because the world are watching. The walls have ears. If it is not DOS, it is not DOS. If it is not Mazen Nandekanu, it is not Mazen Nandekanu. If it is not Mazen Nandekanu, it is not Mazen Nandekanu. If it is not Mazen Nandekanu, it is not Mazen Nandekanu. Any other thing are fake. Let me they tell you. Some of you will say, no. Mazen, what are you saying? And But Mazen say, if you know anything you do that, that will bring Biafra, do it. It's not when you are killing Biafras. Mazen does not ask you to kill Biafra before you get Biafra. Because that is what you people used to justify yourselves. That Mazi say, whatever you can do, do it to get their fight. No, not when you are coming to kill police, kill army in our land, run away, and have our people being killed and kidnapped, then you tell me that you're fighting for their No, Chineke, don't walk. I'm walk with God will punish you. If you are, if you are consuming this land in our land, and bringing military, attracting military to come and kill our people, may God punish you. I'm walk with So now, so Ayaba have deceived Ekberima into believing that as Mazen Nandekan is no longer outside, that he should continue to fight, to destroy things so that he will be released. While his own boss that was kidnapped, that was arrested and kept in, in, in Yaoundé for a very long time, have not been released doing the same thing. But I'm going to say when they my job, you need a job, you're telling me what I'm saying. I'm not going to say what I'm saying. I'm not going to say He is supposed to lead, you're supposed to live by example, by looking at Stu Ayeba who advised him to adopt violence, to adopt 
arm struggle, knowing fully well that Joe Ayaba is already on arm struggle, but they have not released his, his post. Do you, do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? If that advice is supposed to be working, you should have worked for Joe, Joe Ayaba. All they wanted is for IPOB to be proscribed internationally. All they wanted is for international communities to see IPOB as terrorists. All they wanted is for IPOB members across the globe to be disbanded. If we were disbanded, the struggle will go down. And that is why Nigeria government is spending billions upon billions upon billions upon billions to stop IPOB internationally. Because internationally, we are waxing even more stronger than you can ever imagine. The work of, of the U.S. is immense. They are doing great job on the ground that you cannot see, but very, very effective in what we are doing. So their plan is to destroy the struggle, destroy the leadership, so that the struggle will go down. You remember, you remember, you remember Joe Ibope, who told you that go for their leader and they will all scatter. Up to this moment, two years plus, heading to three years, Joe Ibope, they have apprehended our leader. Have we scattered? No. Then you people brought in Simon Ekberima to use it to scatter us. But you know they won't. Now Simon Ekberima have found a, a safe land, a safe landing, where he will be extorting money from you, taking everything, you know, trying to bastardize the struggle, trying to turn the struggle to something else. But we are here, the media department of this movement are here. My brother, my sister, if you have never supported any media warrior or any media personnel of this movement before, and you are a beer fan, you love Mazin and Kano, it is time you begin to do so. Because this is the media that have stopped the enemies from taking this struggle to where it is not. This is the same media that have stopped the enemies from not prescribing IPOB internationally. This is the same media that have made sure that Mazin and Kano was not killed in the hand of the enemy. This is the same media that is bringing every activities of the enemies in Biafra land to the limelight. This is the same media that made sure that all the criminals that are killing, kidnapping, smashing cars from Biafra land have been decimated. This is the same media that have been in front line fighting and building a very big war between the good, the bad, and the ugly, and the whole world has seen it. If you cannot clap for the media, warriors, the presenters, both those on Radio Biafra, if you cannot support them, at least clap for them. If you can give me a, a, a right up, a, a God bless Biafra Media Warriors. God bless IPOB Media Warriors. So whether I call it IPOB or Biafra Media Warriors, I appreciate any one of them. God should bless us because we have fought gallantly to make sure that the enemy do not come close. If not, by now, Nkainema will go. If not, by now, all these things that Nkainema is doing will be ascribed to us. They will be credited to us. They will put it to us. And you as an Igbo man who doesn't like Biafra, let me tell you something. They are starting to profile their uh, Igbos. But their target, their main target is Biafra, but they want to use Igbo. They are profiling us across the globe. Nigeria government is paying and sponsoring a lot of government officials to continue to, 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 to treat the Igbos bad. I heard that trade fair was closed down. I don't know if it is truth or false. Some of you who are in Lagos, who are there, can confirm. Sometimes they close uh, uh, Lagos Island uh, market. Sometimes they close um, Ladipo market. Sometimes they close com computer village. Why are they closing those markets? Because this is where Igbo people are trading. This is where Igbo people are getting what to eat. They are trying to say that Igbo people are terrorists. And once they succeed in doing that, if we don't have media that will counter them, then you are gone. Both you that is from Edo State, both you that is from uh, that is from uh, 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 River State, both you that is from uh, Benue State, both you that is from Akwa Ibom, Cross River, Bayosa, Delta, all of you will be, will be inclusive. Do you know the number of Nigerians that are in prison abroad? Do you know the report that Nigerian government are giving? That those people are Igbos. That is the impression they are giving to every country where you found number large number of Nigerians in the prison. He said that these people are Igbo. They are the one doing drug. 
They are the one doing this. They are the one doing that. So what they want to do is to make the Igbo people a guinea pig so that they will begin to kill all of you. And when they say Igbo, once they speak our side, you responded. They put you on side. They speak Yoruba, you responded. They speak what you keep you on side. If you, if you are not a Yoruba, you are not our side. One day you are a different from the eastern region. Coming down from Edo State, down. From Benue State, Lower Benue. Down. From Kogi State, Lower Kogi, down. And you say you are Igbo. You don't consign you. You don't consign you. Go to your village now. Buy a car, go to your village, go and enjoy. I remember last three years, last four years, last five years, whenever I'm speaking, whenever I'm broadcasting, I will tell you, I will say, you don't like Biafra. You don't want Biafra. But the time is coming. What they will be doing to us will be affecting you directly. If we talk about it, it's not happening to be a fraud now. We don't want to be a fraud. Right now, it affects you. You don't go keep buy that your new car, go village, go celebrate. You know, you cannot. The enemies are already in the ground, on the ground. Hunting for all of you. If not because of this IPOB, believe you me. Believe you me. If not because of this IPOB, believe you me, you are gone. Izuna Ugochuku, thank you very, very much. Thank you very very much. God will bless you. Uh, I want to there's number on this on this platform. There's a number there. There's a number there. That is on WhatsApp. You can write me through WhatsApp. Okay? Thank you very much. God bless you. These are dear friends that appreciate what we are doing. These are dear friends that, are, that appreciate what we are doing. Okay, Lord, okay. There are some people who are businessmen who cannot join what who cannot show their face. Who cannot try it, but they are there. They like what you are doing. You support us. That is why Mazanan can say we can fight this struggle for one billion years without the support of any government official, without the support of any politician. Their friends will support the movement, and that is what you see happening now. So, my brother, you can write me on that WhatsApp number. The number is plus 491 521 429 2638 on WhatsApp. Write me there. So that you can make the money available to us. And I will continue to share the card. From this moment. I've, been, I've started sharing this morning. I will continue to share the card. To the, if you bring one night for IPOB. Media Warriors. It comes to me. They will get it. That is the assurance I'm giving, I'm giving to you. They will get it. If you know the work that this media has done so far. You will thank them. You will appreciate them. We pray for them. Those of you that cannot show your face, we are showing our faces. Because if all of us are behind the camera and we are talking, they will say, these people are, are terrorists. That's why they don't show their face. And they show my face. You know they see Achonuku. You know they see Biafra, Biafra Evangelist. You know they see Methuselah. You know they see uh, Biafra Chai. Are you not seeing us, Paul Achebe? Are we not fly? The lion, uh, 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 Leone. Lion man Leone. You know they see us. Are we not fly? No, but you are seeing our faces. And our sister, Efe Wanogo. And our sister, Ebosa. We are showing our faces just to prove to the whole world that what we are fighting is our freedom. We are not violent. We are only asking for a referendum to be conducted in our land. Not any fake rubbish referendum test or conducted in Finland. No. No, I cannot monetize my Facebook. Somebody says you monetize it. I will not. I will never monetize this account. Never. If the money I will make from this account is what will make me rich man, let me remember. I don't want. I am a principled man. If I monetize this account, I will be cashing out $1,000 every month. How will you pay me as a monetized page for me to do broadcast for you. Does it make sense? Whatever you are giving to us right now is a support, not a payment. And once I monetize, there is there will be some issues, some things that will happen that I cannot post. If I post it, Facebook will demonetize me and bring down my page. So it's good I'm making that money I'm supposed to they're supposed to pay, then they hold it and give me the access to speak to the world and show the whole world what is happening to my people. So the issue of monetization cannot work. 
I don't want it. I do, I turn on me, my three accounts, my three, three, three accounts, I've, I've been given access for monetization, including my personal uh, presidential account. I refused. Money is not everything. The people that monetize their accounts, sometimes you see them doing program five times, six times, just to meet up and on the process making mistake. Same thing they are not supposed to say. So far you you view them, that is their interest. They don't check the message they are they are pushing out. So I can't monetize, brother. Sam Malaki, I'm speaking to you. And I have my reasons. And now my reason stands. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter what, what it is. So monetization is Facebook to pay me, my bro. If you want to support the media warriors through me or through Methuselah or through Ajalug or through Madabich or through any one of us or through Biafra Chai, if you want to support us, as I'm talking to you right now, I have a number which you can use to write me. Support. Forget about monetization. It doesn't work for me. So my brothers and my sisters, I would like to open my line to hear from you guys because I know that a lot of you have something to say. But bear it in mind that Joe Ayaba does not mean well for Biafra movement. Joe Ayaba, Dr. Joe Ayaba does not mean well for Biafra movement. Because if he meant well, he would have learned from what happened to his boss and his people in Ambazonia. He would have known that in Ambazonia, they are fighting with gun, killing police, killing army, destroying government properties, but their, their boss is still in the hand of the enemy. Only God knows if that man is still alive. And there have never been any declaration of from the court in favor of that man. So anybody that adapted that system of violence, everybody that have, that have adapted that system of uh, armed struggle, which Joe Ayaba sold to, to, to him, should know that his brain is empty. He, we know that they have an ulterior motive because you should have learned that Joe Ayaba, who have been doing it with these guys, have their leader is still there. But we that refuse to do that, our leader has been freed by four different courts in the same country because we are peaceful. That is the code. Why can you better the buy other? That is the code. Only open a jigging at Bamu. Get a mother now walk. We have a Muga can at Bam. A guy had Konya or Pokekam, Ichinia Kim, Uramayo, Sonya. You get you as good on your Trunya, Hapoga Bam. I hope a Moyaja can at Bam can a native madam, which are Cadobia, I thought a drug and would say an uniform goes boost. You have a message, Yame. Oh, okay, Nan. But you don't want to find him. And what they find out. The reason why I'm sounding this way is because some of you think that the Berima is fighting for Mazen Namdikano. He is not fighting for Mazen Namdikano. He has created his, his uh, followers. He has created everything, duplicated everything that Mazen Namdikano is doing. And we are still here following Mazen Namdikano and doing the needful. And at the end of the day, he have not achieved anything. Last, last, last. What is given to you people right now is what they call ID card. Don't forget his 150 days that he promised you that Biafra will come. Don't forget about the aircraft, the fight, jet, uh, uh, jet fighter he promised you that he bought. Don't forget about the warship he promised you that he bought. Don't forget about the support of South Korea he promised you that he got. Don't forget about, if you forget all this, thing, then you are deluded. You are a dead man walking. You are a dead man walking. That a man promised you 150 days before we come. After 150 days, you do not see before. Promise you jet fighter that he bought. You did not see anything. Promise you uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 worship. You did not see anything. Are you people animal? If you make Are you people animal? Are you are you animal? Even animal yourself, you cannot deceive them at a certain stage. You cannot deceive us at a certain stage. If you doubt, go and do this thing I want to tell you now. You know, those days in the village, if you want to catch a, a hen or a, a roaster, you put, you drop corn on the ground. The roaster will be eating it. You'll be eating it. You'll be eating it at a time. It will come closer. you catch that roaster or that hen. But I want to let you know that if you have two hen or three hen there and they are watching you, and you catch one, the rest will run away. 
Is it true or false? If you are dropping corn on the ground and you have three chicken there, or four or five, or even ten, and as you are dropping it, they are eating it, they are dropping, they are eating the, and then at the point you dive and catch one, the rest will run away. But why are these people that are following this man called Simon Eglima? Why are so those so daft that they did not see the handwriting on the wall that this guy is a fraud? He told you he will give you this. He did not give you. He told you he will do this for you. He did not do. The site he said he was going to create nothing happened. Nothing. 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 Like nothing. What if an enemy? You will come out and tell you, I will end them. I will chase them away. I disband DOS. He disband DOS and he's still talking about DOS up to today. Don't forget that Simon Nicoli must claim that he disband DOS two years ago. And DOS is still here. Fighting for the release of Mazen Namikam. And he is doing nothing than to be causing confusion, killing people in our land, kidnapping, snatching of cars. And I'm beginning to suspect Finland government. The Finnish government is supposed to put under scrutiny. The Finnish government is supposed to put under scrutiny that all, uh, 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 all the evidences that have been presented before them about what this guy is doing, yet they still allow this guy to use their airwave to cause trouble in Biafra land, kill people, you know, kill police, kill army, Cause a lot of havoc, and they are still watching him. Though international community are watching him, he can't travel out of Finland. He cannot. He is hiding even in Spain, Finland. In case you don't know, someone is is hiding in Lati. He's hiding. Oh, the zozo zozo. Oh, when he came up this year. I oh God, she can die anymore. Oh, when he came. Zuzu Konezo, he won't know for Hammer. Has no referendum nonsense. If you cause Wazo Zuzu, we have Mabatani Behol Eba. We met a hidden in a home. And Konea, Finland police will not like anybody that comes to, to do violence. Do you know that when IPOB visited Finland, he told the police that they came to, 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 to cause problem in the country? That's what uh, uh, Simon told the police that they should not allow those people that are coming. You know, that they are coming, they are, they are traitors, they are, uh, um, uh, um, um, what do you call it? They are, uh, what do you call it? Which there's a name you use, terrorists. He said that the terrorists, they are coming to cause problem. They want to come and destroy the country. He keep calling them. He called them no less than 20 times. They should not allow them to come in. They should not allow them to come in. They should not allow them to come in. When our brother from UK, uh, from uh, Italy, our national coordinator in UK, Odobu, made a video and told him that I am coming there for you. He quickly called police again and put the, uplo uh, up uh, upload the, the video. Person, we have to give me the identity of this person. The moment he found out the identity of whom he was looking for, <laughs> also kata kata kata. That day, because you know, Nyan, Nyan, Mapo. He ran away from his house. He didn't sleep in his house. Because of the who can't you can only have quack on us of pump, 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 now flat, yeah. On the right, up, up, for like one hour. The guy told you I was coming. These are men with, with, with big liver. I was coming for you. Then he brought the video. Who is this guy? Tell me the identity. You, you know the identity begin to run. And the guy, as he told you that I was coming, he came. He went to his your house where you're living and knocked on your door. It was your ne the neighbor, your neighbor, at that at that uh, at that place where you are hiding, at the basement where you are hiding is where your neighbor came out and said, "Who are you looking for?" Uh, they, they explained to the man that they are looking for the guy living here, known as Simon. The man, they even interviewed the man. That is to prove to you that the person that told you I was coming for you came for you and you ran. You ran away. You are not man enough. If you are a man enough, you would have waited inside the country where you are a citizen. And somebody was coming to, to visit you. <laughs> and you, 
you, you, you ask for his identity. The moment you found out the identity, you're wrong. I put a picture with you. If you look at that cause, if you look at those muscles, you know they're going to arrow. No worry, how water. No worry, how water. One day. Those are muscles, it's rubbish. I will be a brother, I'm a musilike. We will be sneaky enough for you to be a boy, I'm not going to be a man. But our brother from Italy visited. I told me, Bafia. Oh, the book all. So you tell me, I'm coming for you. And he came. Then you ran. He came to your house and knocked. So what I'm trying to say is this. Dear friends, make sure, as you are sharing this program, make sure anybody you knew that went to Finland in the name of that rubbish mirage referendum cum ID card presentation <laughs> denounce that person as your brother or sister today because the person is not, is not worthy to be called your brother or your sister. Not worthy at all. Omwakulia. The person is not worthy to be called your brother or your sister. We are here to restore a nation, not to make mockery of our dead ones. Because what Simon Ekberima did in Finland was making mockery of our, our dead ones. Even though we know he's not he's not fighting for Biafra, he is only fighting for his stomach and trying to destroy what Mazinan can do, which cannot happen. It will not happen. Therefore, I want to open my line. And for those of you that want to contribute to this program, the line is open. Go ahead and call and make a contribution. Very swift. If I receive two or three calls, I think that would be that would be okay. I wouldn't want to continue the program for a long time. I will bring it down. But for now, I'm here. The number here to call is plus four nine one five two one four two nine two six three eight. Give me a call. And tell me what you think about the shenanigans, about the, the, the chase play that was displayed in Finland a few days ago. ID card, common ID card. If any member of your, if any supporter of Simon Ebelima will confirm to me that Ebelima is printing that ID card, giving it free, then I, my, me, I, my, we became, we support, we, we begin to support Ebelima. No problem, no punyeri and neck in it. Mabun, only 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 you keep printing that card, then you for free, <laughs> which I know is practically impossible. Welcome to this program, I see the hot. Yeah, never we are calling from please. Uh, good day, watching again. My name is Nancy. If I chuku ko yam. Nde o mazi mazi if I chuku. Go ahead and make a contribution. I'm still wondering. I'm still wondering how people follow this criminal, and I come to conclusion that all these people that are following uh, this is a criminal are the only people that join the struggle. Just no old member who have who have listened to my in the town for a long time will follow this man. Is anybody any, any old member is following this uh, follow my uh, uh, man? That means that all the sacrifice, all this preaching, man, can is preaching that there is not. This one not hearing it's not good. Of course. You know, because I sometimes I wonder how if I wonder I wonder how a human being on earth will follow this plane now. Honestly, this is not possible. Honestly, the thing they the thing they shock me. This you think you think that I teach you human experience you know it's not possible. As, uh, or, or, look at the mass, is the type of people we are sacrificing we are we are trying to, to be the nation for? So this oh, this is both you and me. God help us. But I'm on giving again, and just one day, one day, very soon. Carly, that you put up. This is one of my this is my brother. We don't know. I've been surprised. You know, come a human being who will allow you to listen to this cleaner. I'm following to listen to buy ticket to go to Finland. That is what I'm saying. Buy ticket to Finland. Is he is he referring to na 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 alo obodo nyo azo? You are living, you are living as an expatriate in a country, and you are traveling from that country where you are living as an expatriate to another country to go and do referendum for a country where you left, where you are supposed to be. Hey, but under Madam Marife, honestly, honestly, it's so simple. Sometimes, sometimes we're going to say that Nigeria is animal, but some of our people are still behaving like 
more than any more than six old. To fear what? It's where my brother. Do you see? Do you see? Okay? Thank you, thank you, Mazi. Yeah. Shame to each and every one of you that went to Finland. Shame to each and every one of you that went to Finland to 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 inaugurate ID card, fake and fraudulent ID card. I get you and I do no job. Shame to all of you. If you're in the moon. Obro na wan ne gi so weje that Finland all in the name of uh, referendum lose ba ana because i call card as ba card as ro you feel me go ni ni this is the biggest yahoo yahoo of the of the of the of the of, of this universe the biggest that i have ever seen the biggest how many delegates from international community do you see there how many representatives from the countries of the world that we go to have a hint of not there? Nobody, because it is fake. It is fake. They cannot come. They want to keep there. They can't come because nobody knows him. He's not recognized. But do you know that countries are writing letters to IPOB? Countries are writing letter to the Directorate of State. Countries are writing letter to IPOB. That is why IPOB is able to help so many people who are living as refugees in different countries to get paper. Our sister F. Uwanoyo is one of the living examples that you people know. There are many other ones out there that are not on the Facebook that you don't know. It is IPOB that made it possible for Efe to have paper because Efe is a freedom fighter who is fighting for, for the freedom of our people. And she is living in, a, in, in a, a, another man's country without Nigeria uh, documentations because she's not a Nigerian. She's a Biafran. IPOB documentations is recognized. Any document that IPOB put out there is, is authentic. Because the world acknowledge us as indigenous people of Biafra. But they believe have tried it, it didn't work. He tried with autopilot, it didn't work. He want to go back to IPOB, it didn't work. Now he want to be collecting money from you, tell you that he gave you a database. Database in Dole. That Mazen Nan can put it as a as a as a warning that nobody should print any ID card to give to any Biafra. Anyway, maybe the people is giving the ID card are his home now. They've in the village here. Yeah. I think there, there, are, there are people from his community, not people, not not indigenous people of Biafra, because no person that have common sense will follow that animal. That is the truth. You may not like it, but that is the truth. And on that note, I think I have to bring this program to an end because I don't want it to be too long. You came from Nayam Bezoku, you came from Nanti, Bokwana Ase. Only what Kosi says you will match and I won't have one, the hub one day you pay. But I won't put the key Kosi, assume for the key car walk. I don't want to go, Makuri and Nebu. That is one of my best music that I like to play at all time. Let's listen to the music. When I come back, then I'll answer more call. What is happening to the song? What is happening to the song? I must play it.